my name is Lisa and you are watching One Lisa Show. Today is all about a collaboration between me and Zelda from Zelda Sews. We made a pattern. We both made the same dress and we're sharing our pattern reviews and our makes with you today. The pattern we both saw and noticed that we owned and wanted to make together is McCall 7948. It is a buffet dress, also known as Grace McCall's. It has four different options, but to be honest with you, it's multiple sleeve variations and two different skirt options. You could do a tiered gathered skirt, or you could do a pleated skirt. And then you could go sleeveless, short sleeve, um, short sleeve with a frill or a long elbow length sleeve with a frill. I'll show you the line drawings. This is a really popular pattern and I think the reason, there's two reasons why it's popular. The buffet dress was featured in the Great British Sewing Bee a couple years back. I can honestly say I've never seen that show because they don't broadcast it here in the States. And the other reason is Minerva offered this as a free pattern for quite some time. And it might even still be available as a free pattern. But I got mine at Joann's for $1.99 and we both decided we wanted to make it. So we're putting them out together. So after you watch this video, do what I do and go check out Zelda's video and let's see how ours compare. Cause we have no idea what fabric we used. We don't know which version we made. And we kind of have a general idea because we talked a lot during the process. We kind of have an idea of our thoughts on it, but not the complete picture. McCall does call this an easy pattern. And I would generally agree with that. It isn't a hard pattern. It does have suggested fabrics of Dobby, Swiss Dot, linen, and crepe. And as you can see, the model is wearing a, a embroidery on glass which is gorgeous. And I really did like the model's version and the features on the model's version is uh, trim and then the longer sleeves with the frill. I went with making uh, basically version C with the shorter sleeve. And I think the shorter sleeve is in version A, which is the pleated skirt. I went with the tiered skirt. I made a size 16. The measurements on the envelope gear me to more of an 18, but I sized down after looking at all the reviews on the Pattern Reviews website, all the makes on Minerva, and scrolling Instagram nonstop. I got mixed feelings about this dress. I'm wearing it now. I'm gonna insert some pictures of me wearing it a full scale. And so I did make the size 16. It does have a, a facing for the neckline. There is a snap, I have a snap in the back, but the instructions say to do a button. No bust starts, and it is very voluminous. So this is my idea. I agree that it is an easy pattern. Minimal instructions, the instruction booklet is pretty minimal. And I'm going to refer back to my notes, so bear with me. Let's talk about the ease of construction. It was an easy pattern. There are minimal instructions. The instructions aren't bad. I don't particularly care for the sequence or the order of the instructions on how to make this dress. My packet said, make the bodice, make the skirt. Sew the skirt together to the bodice and then do the sleeves. This is where I feel there, could, there was a problem for me just a simple one, I, if I made this again, I would do the bodice sleeves, make the skirt, and then sew the skirt to the bodice. Only because after you have already completed everything but the sleeves, and you're trying to do these armholes, which are so much smaller, and you're on a sewing, your table, and you have your sewing machine, it just, it's a lot more fabric than you need on that table at that moment. It wasn't particularly hard, it just wasn't, it could have been easier. So next time I would do the sleeves on the bodice and then attach everything. There's a lot of gathering. In fact, I did cut out the frill for the sleeve and I chose not to do it because I was sick of all the gathering with the tears of this skirt. Now, how do I feel about this dress? It is massively voluminous, voluminous. It is voluminous. I did like it when I put it on, but then I showed it to Big Daddy 
and I did notice it was very poofy and it was very loose but it fit well up here and I showed it to Big Daddy and he said I look like I was wearing the muumuu that Homer Simpson wore in an episode of The Simpsons when he gained so much weight so he could work from home and have some kind of disability. That's all it took for me to not like this dress. That's all it took. I will say, I'm going to show you, it kind of looks, as I'm walking around, this back does not give any definition to my body or my curves. It's just too poofy and full of volume and it just to me makes me look like I feel like I'm wearing something way too baggy at that point. I kind of like it. I kind of think it's just too much. I think if I made this again, I would try the pleated skirt version, maybe A, or, or I think, honestly, I could just take some of the mass out of the tears out. It is a little long. I think I would shorten it more. And I made a straight 16 no adjustments it's just kind of long and it's just too poofy here for me kind of has that maternity dress feel and if i was pregnant i might like that one option i'm going to st i'm standing up to show you is i thought about adding a channel of elastic to the back half just to bring that in a little bit and see if that makes it a little bit more flattering to my figure because right now it feels a little bit more like a potato sack Otherwise, I like it. I think I used the wrong fabric choice. I had this fabric, I had a lot of this fabric, and I used almost four yards of this quilting cotton to make this dress. I have a little scrap of it left over. So in retrospect, um, if I used a viscose, it probably would lay different and probably look better. But I do still think even if I used a viscose, I think it's just too much fabric for this dress. And there's a lot of gathering. There is so much gathering. I'm kind of getting sick of all the gathering in these type of dresses. Would I make this dress again? Possibly with reservations. If I made this dress again, I would definitely take some of the volume out with the tiers of the gathered skirt. I also would use a more flowy, fluid fabric. The other option I am open to is to trying the other skirt, the one that has the pleats in it. And let me show you, that is view A and view B. I think that might be cute. And I think there's a chance that would look better on me. Like I said, I wanna do an elastic channel in the back, see if that gathering helps define my bum a little bit better. If it doesn't, more than likely this is gonna get hacked. I'm gonna take the bodice off and I will probably turn this skirt portion into a standalone skirt because it is cute and with a white t-shirt, I think that would look really pretty and perfect for spring next year. Currently, I feel like I'm wearing an Easter dress and there's nothing wrong with that. It isn't bad. It just isn't good. <laughs> it doesn't make me feel good. One thing I think this dress is missing is bust starts. I am... I was shocked there were no bust starts when I started constructing it. And then trying it on, I can see, yes, it doesn't have bust starts. It still fits okay in the bodice. However, I think having bust starts would have given me some of that structure that would have had the skirt lay differently. So I think maybe adding bust starts might help. I have seen some people on Instagram post pictures of this dress and they have hacked it and done a different top altogether. And there are a couple of dress patterns I have from McCall's and Simplicity where I like the top. And I would consider changing this and maybe lowering the empire style of where this bodice ends and bringing it more down to a tapered top. I think that would also look different too. I've also seen people hack this into a shirt with a, with a peplum or a frill. I really wanted to love this pattern. I did love this pattern before I made it. And <clears throat> like I was telling Big Daddy last night, 
I do think it comes down, 80% of what I don't like about this dress comes down to my fabric choice. It may call for me making it again in a different fabric, but that will have to wait for when I'm done using my stash. I am very curious how Zelda rated this, if she would make it again, and what her version, what her dress looks like and what version she made. I'm sure no matter what, it looks fabulous on her. And please do check out Zelda's channel. I'm gonna put a link in the description box below. And that, my friends, is my pattern review for McCall 7948. Have you made this dress? If you have, please leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are and how your make turned out. If you found this video useful in any way, please give me a like, leave a comment, or consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I hope you do something creative wherever you are in the world today, and I look forward to talking again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.